Hey everyone, hope you all are having a great week. I uh, just wanted to give a few updates from the public policy session. So I think a lot of you saw that Senate Bill 128 was signed into law yesterday. So that was extremely exciting. Uh, this is a bill that we worked on actually for a few years in the process to create um, an anonymous reporting option for victims who are seeking evidence collection as well as, as medical care and also making some victim centered clarifications around what medical providers need to report um, in terms of uh, providing patient care to a victim of sex assault. So really the goal with that bill is to make sure that we have a victim-centered approach and that is uh, the legislation that was passed. So thank you to everyone who took action. I know so many of you wrote out to your legislators and asked them to support the bill and it worked. So um, as you all know when we have a new law, specifically one that changes practice, there can be um, a lot of training, um, a lot of technical assistance questions, and it can take some time frankly to make sure that it's being implemented um, along with the full spirit of the law. So we just asked folks to uh, to take a look at the bill, make sure that you know what it means, um, bring it to your community sex assault response team uh, so there can be some dialogue about how to best implement it, and then contact CCASA with any specific questions. Our website is being updated daily with more information. Um, regarding implementation of this bill. So please visit www.ccasa.org backslash reporting options for more information. I uh, was also down at the legislature today working with uh, Representative Rhonda Fields and some higher education stakeholders on House Bill 1296, which is looking at uh, creating a task force to address campus sex assault issues specifically. So that bill is sort of a work in progress and our interest in it is really making sure that there's the right composition of folks at the table um, with the, the most um, effective goals in place. So we're certainly advocating to have uh, victim advocates as leaders in that work and we'll keep you posted on that bill as well. Um, and then looking towards next week, uh, we're working some with the Colorado Coalition, Domest uh, Colorado Coalition Against Domestic Violence um, on a bill around allocation of parental responsibilities and just making sure that when those uh, parental responsibilities questions are, are being looked at, that it's the best interest of the child standard is paramount. So watch for some information from us as well as CCADB about that bill um, in particular. So thank you for everything that you do. It's an exciting week. Um, 80 degrees today, snow tomorrow. So that's Colorado for us. And uh, stay tuned for more information from the legislature.